And today I'm reviewing Street Fighter 2 World Warriors for the Super Nintendo. Welcome back guys to the Game Zone Bird Room. Game Zone Bird Room Game Zone Game Zone Bird Room And it's not the Game Zone Bird Room without my babies. Street Fighter 2, released in 1991 in the arcade by Capcom. It's the sequel to Street Fighter that was released in 1987. Capcom utilised the CPS-1 arcade ball system. But that's enough about the arcade. This is the Super Nintendo edition, which was an exclusive for a while was released in Britain on the 17th of December 1992 as well as the rest of Europe. I was 8 years old when this came out. Bloody hell, I'm old. So you get 8 fighters and each one have got their own different move sets. I've just selected my favourite fighter, Ken. He's awesome. So you're probably asking, how does this compare to the arcade? really well actually it's downgraded due to the slower processor of the SNES version as well you do get quite a lot of slowdowns there's missing frames but overall it plays very well I mean when I had the Mega Drive version back in the day I actually thought it was arcade perfect it's only now where you know the animation is so ready available that you can actually compare and do a side-by-side -side comparison and just how how they downgraded these these versions were I mean Street Fighter 2 was also uh, ported to Spectrum, Commodore 64, uh, Atari ST and other systems to name just a few and they were shocking me back at they they were awful, so forget, forget them, don't even bother, they're crap. The three best versions at the time was considered the SNES, Mega Drive and the PC Engine. All three versions had their strength and their weaknesses. The SNES looked good, sounded okay, played very well. I mean, it, its major weakness was the slowdowns. Mega Drive, it was fast playing, uh, looked okay, sound was terrible. And then you had the Turbo PC engine, sounded absolutely fantastic. Played well and looks good. A lot of people consider it one of the best versions. I still prefer the Mega Drive version due to the fact that the gameplay wise and how quick it played to me was more nearer to the arcade version I mean that, that is my personal preference other persons have got more fond memory of the Nintendo in the end though if you had one of them three versions you were in for a great time especially if you have a mate to play with so you could beat the crap out of him it, it was fantastic. One of the best two player games ever made. Round and look, one. I mean, just look how beautiful this game still looks to this day. I mean, it's one of the best things about these 16 bit consoles was the fact that they used these kind of graphics. You know, they, they sort of stand the test of time. They still look amazing today. Thank <laughs> you. 
used to love beating my brother up in this game. It used to take great satisfaction. Especially when you're bigger and stronger than me in real life. So I don't take that. This version of the game went on to grow 6.3 million units for Capcom, which at the time was its highest grossing game until Resident Evil 5 came out, which is incredible. This game really closed the gap between Sega and Nintendo. This didn't appear on the Sega machine until a year later, which was the Championship Edition. This game in December became Nintendo's packing game. Oh, and it did some real damage to Sega in the UK. A lot of people were buying Nintendo's just for this game alone. Some of my mates had it who had the who had the Nintendo. Oh, I so badly wanted to kill them. So jealous. In the end though, I was a happy bunny. It did eventually come out for the Sega Mega Drive. Sold just under two million units, so it was a good, it was a good successful game for Sega. Not quite the success that it had had been for Nintendo. I really don't like picking up Chun-Li. Bless me. I could be wrong, but I think she might be the first sex symbol computer game character. This is still the third biggest selling arcade game of all time which is just amazing but if you play it you can tell why the set pieces behind the characters the character design the two player mode it, it, it had everything Round I hate one. fighting Sam Reef he's a pain in the bum his moves are so powerful and if you know how to control him oh, you can just easy defeat fighters on this game Incredibly powerful. I'm going to let you on a secret. This bloke beat me five times. I had to edit them, then losses out. Pain in the ass. It's funny, in Japan, the, the four main bosses, their names were slightly altered for the West. Probably due to the fact that Bullrog, which in Japan is M. Bison, which is basically saying Mike Tyson or Mike Bison. So I assume it was changed due to the right infringement. In later games, the four main bosses became playable characters, which was nice. And in Super Street Fighter 2, they introduced four new characters. I won't go into depth of who they are. So I'll be reviewing that game at a later date. Do love the music in this game. It's fantastic. It was reworked for the SNES version. That's why it's got a slightly different tone and sound into it. Each character got their own little storyline to them. So you've got Yonder, who was a sumo wrestler, who wants to show the world that sumos are legitimate athletes. You've got Guile, who's a US Special Ops officer, who wants to revenge his best friend's death. Like Guile, you've got Chung Lee, who is an Interpol officer, who wants to revenge her father's death. Sangeev's a professional wrestler who wants to prove to the world the Solvents are the superior people. Dalsin, who's a pacifist, but uses the money from fighting to lift people out of poverty in his native India. Then we've got Blanker, who's a, I'm guessing is a mutant, who was raised in the jungle in Brazil. Then we have Ken, who's falls out of retirement because his girlfriend is kidnapped by a shadow. And then lastly, we have Ryu, who's there to prove he's the greatest fighter. Right, I'm going to shut up for a bit and let this play out. Round two, fight!
we have Sagat. He was the original baddie in the first game that was released in 1987. He's a big lad. Apparently his character is seven foot seven. Love the original animated movie of Street Fighter 2. If you've never seen it, watch it. It is brilliant. Better than the live action movie with John Claw Van Damme. That was that was awful. Really bad. But the animated film, brilliant. Fantastic fight scenes in it. The voice acting is spot on for the characters. Yeah, really good film. How dare him beat me. This game deserves to be in any collector's collection. Still such a classic. And here he is, he's the big boss, M. Bison. I've never completed this game. Can I do it today? Come on. I wish I knew the special moves more though. Not a spinning kick. Dummy up like a kipper there, didn't he? Love the, uh, the background characters and the animations on them. Just, you know, just... Gives you a sense that, you know, things are happening in the background as well, you know, with them cheering on. Nice little touch. No, nope. still can't complete it. So, so close. So, so far. You know, he really beat me up, look. My face is all bloodied. Anyway, back to my boat race. And now my final thought on Street Fighter 2, World Warrior. What can I say about Street Fighter 2 that has not already been said before? It is an absolute classic. It changed, beat him up games forever it did it revolutionized them and you know two player mode is brilliant you know especially if you've got your best mate playing against you where you can literally beat the crap out of him which is always a good thing isn't it <laughs> it, no, it, it is a classic it still plays beautiful on the uh, super nintendo it does have slowdowns is it okay perfect no it was never going to be really you know the, the Super Nintendo has not got the the might of the arcade machine, but it, it it looks it looks like it plays like it, and that's that's all you wanted in them days, you know. Personally, when I was young, I thought the Mega Drive was an absolutely perfect arcade pool. Looking back now, with emulations and that, you know, it, 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 either version 
does not match up to the arcade version. But it doesn't stop you from having fun. And that's the main thing about playing these arcade games at home, is it's fun. And, um, and Street Fighter 2 World Warriors has got bucket loads of it. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, remember to button bash that like, subscribe, take it easy. Next time on Game Zone Bird Room. Hardcore 4x4 for the Sega Saturn.